If the thought of climbing down this ladder stresses you out, then stick around, because I'm going to share with you a low requirement, low stress Dagonoth Rex setup guide that I've used on my hardcore Iron Man for months now. The kings can be daunting, but by having a plan and sticking to it, you'll find that they don't have to be. It all starts with the right gear. Personally, I choose range and melee defense over everything when soloing Dagonoth Rex. You'll be mainly praying magic and safe spotting the only melee damage, so that leaves us with range being our defensive priority. Having a magic stat of zero, he is extremely vulnerable to magic attacks, meaning you can walk in there, debuff to hell, and still win the fight. I choose to go with the granite body as it's a quick tank body to unlock via barbarian assault and has a way higher range defense than the next best rune plate body. Access to the staff of Iben for Iben's blast is a highly recommended minimum requirement with anything higher than that being better so you do you. Additionally, grinding out a charged Tome of Fire for the Unlimited Fire Rune saves you an inventory slot which can be vital as you will be taking damage at lower levels. If you're not using Ibans, ignore this and choose the appropriate range tank offhand for your weapon. As for the inventory, hard requirements are a pet rock and rune throne axes. I carry one prayer potion for emergencies but generally prioritize anti-poisons and food with one slot saved for a one-click telly and lastly one super energy or stamina potion. Now for the fun part, the run. Get to Waterbirth Island any way you want and walk to the cave entrance. Do yourself a favor and turn the compass north before activating your melee prayer and crawling through the entrance. Run northeast towards the northernmost door. If you want, toggle your prayer after the first mob attacks you to save a few points before the next aggro cycle. Step onto one of the pressure plates, drop your pet rock, Step onto the opposite pressure plate and open the door. Don't forget to pick up your rock baby before running east. The crabs can be ignored while you make your way to the next obstacle. Tuck yourself into this cozy doorway and take some time to regain run energy if needed. When you're ready, equip your rune throne axes, activate your special attack, and destroy the western door support. Activate your magic prayer before right quick choosing the climb down option on the ladder because a few Wallasakis will start to Wallasak that ass immediately. Climb down the eastern ladder, activate your melee prayer, and proceed to the next ladder to your east. This room presents your next opportunity to chill max and regain run energy before climbing down the southern ladder. Make sure to activate Protect from Melee Prayer before climbing down the southern ladder because there could be a few Dagonoth grouped at the bottom. This room contains two ladders. Skip the ladder to your south, activate Protect from Magic, and climb down the ladder to the west. Climb up the ladder to the west, climb down the ladder to the south, and then climb up the next southern ladder. Turn on your melee prayer and climb down the ladder to the east. You'll keep your melee prayer on for the next three rooms. Run towards the darkness and climb up the ladder at the eastern end of the passage. If you aren't using stamina potions, this is where you'll need to start sipping super energy doses. Climb down the ladder to the north and follow the path to an eastern ladder around the corner. This room is where it gets tricky, but don't worry, you're almost there. Keep your melee prayer on until getting past the rock lobsters and nearing the final corner of the passage. Turn on your magic prayer to protect against the Wallasakis, turn the corner, and run to the east. Quick tip, if you play on Runelight and have your draw distance set to maximum, you can actually click the obstacle we're headed to from the very start of the room. This will path you all the way there without a fuss. Once you step over the route, tuck yourself into this nook and give yourself a pat on the back. You've completed your journey to the King's Lair. This is only the first half of the setup, however. The next half is much trickier. Before jumping back into the meat grinder, let me outline the plan. Without an alt account to lure the kings, your only real choice is to repeatedly climb down the ladder, check their positions hoping to see a favorable setup, and climb back up if they become aggressive. 
If you're on a Slayer task, you have both rooms at your disposal, which can make the process of finding a good setup much faster. Before doing any of that though, you need to find an empty world. Use this crevice in the floor to peek into the King's Lair and see if anyone is currently fighting them. If the rooms are full, I recommend hopping worlds until you find one that isn't occupied. If you are a lower level, a hardcore Iron Man, or simply want to minimize food consumption, I do recommend waiting in this cubby for 10 minutes so that the Dagonoth in the area become unaggressive. I recommend facing east during the setup process for an easier in and out. Turn on Protect from Magic and step over the route. Right click the ladder and choose the standard room. Place your mouse on your character, preparing to take a look at the king's positions and quickly climb back up if aggroed. Repeat the process over and over again until entering the room without being noticed by any of the kings. If you find yourself being relentlessly attacked, don't panic, just eat. If it starts to be overwhelming, there's no shame in running back to the side room or even teleporting out. Make no mistake about it. This setup process is the most complicated part about safe spotting Dagonoth Rex. Eventually, you'll climb down the ladder and see that all of the kings are preoccupied and you'll be safe to continue. Start running around the southern end of the island, hugging the edge. Make your way to the southeastern arc and you've done it. Now on to the easiest part of killing Dagonoth Rex, the safe spot. Each Rex kill requires you to set up the safe spot manually, but he gets stuck on seemingly every tile along the edge of the island, so it's not very complex. I like to attack Rex from a few tiles northwest of the southeastern arc and then immediately run to the center of the eastern shore. Rex will waddle over very slowly, which you should pay close attention to. Once Rex steps near this tile, run to the southeastern arc and he will lumber into the safe spot. The entire time you're in the king's lair, you will be under constant attack by the spinalips swimming around you. These attack using ranged and ranged based magic, with each attack type able to hit a maximum of 10. Additionally, the ranged attack is poisonous, which is where the anti-poisons come in. Double additionally, the ranged based magic attack drains prayer on successful hits. Both ranged and ranged based magic attacks roll against your ranged defense, making our ranged tank gear crucial to extending our trips. Because our ranged defense is so high and the spinal lips drain prayer over time, I rarely pray while safe spotting Rex. I find that their attacks rarely hit and consider it a waste of prayer potions. Combining our range tank gear with anti-poison potions and good food makes long trips of 20 or so kills easy. If you have access to a full set of Guthans, you can use the Spinal Lips to heal up between kills. This is a cool variation of the Rex safe spot as it allows you to stay for much longer. As with anything, practice makes perfect and persistence pays off. Hopefully you find setting up the Dagonoth Rex safe spot much easier after this guide. If you found it helpful, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing for more videos. A quick thank you to Sam93 for the video recommendation. I hope this helps with your Dagonoth Rex trips.